Advocates for the LGBTQ plus community are continually pushing for better protections for people in the Commonwealth. The first anti-discrimination fairness ordinance in our state passed into law more than 20 years ago. It's designed to protect LGBTQ people from employment, housing and public accommodation dis discrimination. 24 municipalities have adopted the fairness ordinance, which protects just over 31% of people in the Commonwealth. But that means nearly three quarters of our state LGBTQ people in that part of the state can still be fired from a job, denied a place to live, or even kicked out of a restaurant. And according to advocates, newly proposed legislation could restrict the LGBTQ community even more. Packing into the Capitol, hundreds met for this year's fairness campaign, chanting, organizing, and lobbying for LGBTQ rights. Evening Edition's Man Megan Mannering tells us the focus of this year's fight. Voices of the LGBTQ community rippled through the Capitol. What do you want? Yeah. When do you want it? Yeah. The rally acted as a response to multiple LGBTQ related bill proposals. For example, there's Senate Bill 115, which places restrictions on drag shows in Kentucky, and Senate Bill 150, which allows teachers to use pronouns that correspond with the student's biological sex. Advocates say the proposals are an attack on LGBTQ youth. You are important no matter what a piece of legislation says. Every single one of you are children of God and we support you. Surveys show that nearly half of LGBTQ youth have tried suicide. Activists at today's rally say they hope that by stopping this legislation, they'll stop that statistic. We will not stand down as they fight to discriminate against, to marginalize, and unfortunately, ultimately to kill so many of Kentucky's trans kids who are facing the brunt of the vast majority of these attacks. Their promises to block legislation met with enthusiasm from activists. Uh, you know, if we don't come together and fight, nothing's going to change. It, it feels really good to see that people are, are recognizing that. And teachers. Feels really grateful for the privilege that we have to come voice our feelings and voice our support and voice our love uh, for our kids' well-being. All fighting for fairness. Keep believing in what you know is right. And every human being has a human right. In Frankfurt, Megan Mannering, LEX 18 News.